Oh, hi, Roses. One second. All right, so welcome back to another writing workshop. Um, and today's lesson is about the middle of your story, the rising action and the climax. So the tension that rises due to the events in the story and the climax. Okay. Um, so, good writers create suspense by using show don't tell and exciting dialogue. Okay, so I have a book here with a couple of examples. It's called A Happy Lion. It's about a lion that escapes from the zoo and goes wandering around a small town. Okay, so here we have it says. Now what was this new noise the lion heard? Toot toot! Hoot toot toot! When that noise? Hoot toot toot hoot! And it grew. So the writer's creating some tension because you don't really know, the lion doesn't know, the main character, exactly what's going to come around the corner. Okay? And it grew more and more noisy. It may be the wind, said the lion. Unless it is the monkeys from the zoo, all of them taking a stroll. So he's using dialogue there to create more tension because the lion isn't really, he's not really sure about um, what's gonna happen to him or what's around the corner, okay? okay? So I'm gonna show you what would happen in my story about Pablo P.I. for the rising action and the climax. So I'm gonna go switch over to a screencast now and show you what I do. See you there. Hello there, writers. Okay, so as you can see my story mountain from last time, and we did the beginning and expanded on the beginning in the last writing workshop. Now I'm just going to concentrate on this part, the build up, where we create tension and build up tension towards the problem or the climax. Okay, so here we have my first few notes for the build up. Pablo's friend disappears from the beach in suspicious circumstances. Pablo suspects the evil Lord Blubber has something to do with it. Pablo Penguin P.I. sets off to rescue his friend. Now, a uh, couple of the things we're going to concentrate on today were show don't tell and creating tension through dialogue, building up tension through dialogue. Okay, so I'm just going to paste what I've written, expanding on that build up. Here we have, let me read it through to you. Pablo P.I. loved playing tricks on his nephew and niece, Parker and Piper. So with that sentence, I, I, um, I made the person go missing um, to be his, one of his family members, his niece, not just, not just his friend. I wanted to really up the stakes um, and up the tension in the story by having it someone, someone uh, who was personal, had a personal relationship with Pablo P.I. On this particular morning, Pablo had told his nephew and niece that there was treasure to be found under the twin boulders to the east. Pablo knew that this would keep them occupied for most of the day. Pablo put his feet up and settled down to read his book. Okay, so that sentence, Pablo put his feet up and settled down to read his book. That's an example of show don't tell. So from that, you can kind of uh, infer that he's relaxing and he's happy to have his niece and nephew out from under his feet or his flippers. After a few hours, Pablo realized that Piper and Parker still hadn't returned. Just then, he heard Parker's voice shouting, Uncle Pablo, Uncle Pablo, something terrible has happened. Okay, and that's an example of using dialogue to create tension. Obviously, Parker's voice is shouting. Why is he shouting? We don't know yet, but he's gonna, we're gonna find out. Pablo threw his book down and jumped up onto his flippers. He saw Parker running towards him. What is it, Parker? What on earth is the matter? Said Pablo, his voice starting to tremble. Okay, so just in that line, what is it, Parker? What on earth is the matter? Said Pablo, his voice starting to tremble. We can 
infer through show don't tell that he's starting to get nervous. He knows he knows Parker has some probably has some bad news. Parker's in Parker seems very stressed and he's shouting, uh, and his voice is now trembling. It's Piper. She's gone. She's been taken. Shouted Parker. Pablo just stood there as if he had been turned into stone. Again, show don't tell. Why has he been turned into stone? Because he's uh, he's very stressed and he's shocked um, at what Parker's just told him. But I found this long whisker in the sand where she was playing, said Piper. That should be Parker. Pablo shook himself out of his trance and grabbed his magnifying glass. This is no ordinary whisker. It's a ginger whisker, said Pablo. That evil Lord Blubber has something to do with this. Okay, so there you can see how I've expanded my initial notes and sentences for the build-up into something a bit more substantial. And I've used show, don't tell and dialogue to create the tension as we head towards the, uh, the climax. Okay, so today's task is for you to write just one paragraph and build up the tension in your story as you head towards that climax. Okay, best of luck. Bye-bye.